Where do I plan to be in five years? That is a egregiously long time to think about, but let's give it a shot. Let's go back just three years. Three years, I was still a senior in high school, and I was desperately trying to figure it out. Now, looking forward three years, the amount of knowledge, skills, life experience, I would say overall wisdom from going to 18 to 21 is remarkable to the nth degree. I couldn't even imagine where I will be from 21 to 26. I know that my brain's not even felt fully developed yet. The maturing of my viewpoints, my personality, overall as a person, it is going to be astronomical. So I don't know where I'm going to be because if three years ago you asked me where I was going to be and I dreamed the highest possible dream in my entire life, I wouldn't even imagine the situation that I'm in today. I am literally surrounded friends, working business partners with the exact guys that I idolized in a, in a lot of aspects just three years ago. So five years down the line, my real goal is that I stay focused and I can continue to learn and improve in every way possible during that. Because I, one of my fears is, let's say three years down the line, I start to make a lot of money. I could see myself getting very lazy and kicking back and say, I did it. When I think that's the time to step on the gas and double down. But I don't know because five years is so long. Five years ago, I was playing video games every single day, uh, probably eating a edible at night, smoking nicotine in the school bathrooms uh, uh, that I didn't like. I was going to high school parties all the time with me and my buddies. So when we are this young, or speaking personally, thinking out far into the future is such a complex puzzle with all the parts are flipped upside down. Because thinking on a five-year term when you've only lived four five-year terms in your life, if you're 20, that's four times five, is astronomically difficult. I think it's important to set some sort of goal, but also unrealistic to think that you are going to be exactly where you think you will be. Because on any rolling three or five-year period, if you ask me three or five years before, where do you see yourself? I couldn't have been further from the truth as to where I was. It was, it would be literally the complete opposite. Five years ago, I would have said, I'll probably be in college partying every single weekend, getting drunk, hopefully hooking up with girls on the weekend. That's probably would have been the answer that I had. That would have been a good goal. Maybe five years ago, I completely stopped caring about money and I just live doing whatever the hell I want. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Because I, if I have one superpower or one of my superpowers would be, I can change my view set if I can be rationally persuaded by myself very, very quickly. And I can adjust my course of action accordingly. Because I know that I am naive and I don't know a lot of things. So when a viewpoint is counter to mine, and then I'm saying, you know what, that actually is a lot more accurate than my current viewpoint. I have the ability to switch and say, hey, I was wrong. Let's do this instead. So right now I'm all about business, trying to grow a business, make as much money as possible, do every single step along the way to facilitate that while still learning as much as possible, staying as active, uh, and just trying to make as much money as possible. Who knows where that changes if it does along the way. I know that I will not care about money always because if I do hit a certain amount of money, I'll just care more about the time and the freedom that I have. I hope in five years, I'm not constantly looking into the future. That is a tremendous flaw, but also a perk that I have because 
short-term goals, let's say a year and under, I can visualize very, very clearly. And I can chase those goals directly. Hopefully, I can start to open up on larger time horizons. So then I know, hey, the intraday does not matter too much. It's more so the intraweek or intramonth. Same thing if you are, uh, let's say, dieting or cutting body fat. Having a bad cheap day doesn't matter too much if all week you did fantastic. So instead, it's much better to look at it in an accumulative weekly goal. I was supposed to hit, let's say, 10,000 calories this week. And on Monday, I did 3,000. Tuesday, I did 2,000. X. I, math doesn't make sense there. But let's say one day you went wildly over the calorie. You were supposed to do 2,000 calories, but you did 4,000. But then every other day, you only did uh, 1,700. So then over time, it actually starts to average out. So hopefully those bad days don't affect me as much as they do now because I feel like a pathetic loser when I am not getting the proper amount of work done every single day. And I would note, I've never been able to accomplish that much in one year. Everything compounds so much, but I wildly overestimated what I can accomplish in three years because three years ago, I thought in one year, I'd be like, oh, I think I can be making X amount of money. But then I wasn't, I was making shit money. I, I was living in some of the worst conditions I have, oh, the worst condition I'd ever lived in in my entire life. It was ridiculous. I was living in a roach motel in Arizona, but I was still living like a, a dream of mine. Still though, wildly underestimated what I could accomplish on a three-year time horizon by sticking to the plan and letting the growth compound. Because if you stick with one thing for three years, you're going to get really good at it. Now just imagine you do that for eight years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, your whole life. Where the hell will it go? The snowball just gets larger and larger. And it is a magical thing with compounding interest in every single aspect of your life can do. So I'm hoping that I'm still sticking with my current plan for the next five years. Because I know if I have eight total years under my belt as to what I'm doing, I'm a dumb motherfucker, but I'm not that dumb, <laughs> right? I can definitely grow something on a eight year time horizon. Because I think if anybody spent eight fucking years or five, I'm just looking back my past three. So eight total, five in the future. I think anybody, if they put in five to eight years into something and worked on it every single day, as diligently as possible, spending 10 hours, let me do the math. That's, I mean, between like 20 and 30,000 hours. It takes 10,000 to become a complete master. So shit, you are going to be double or triple that if I just stick on the course or if anybody does for that matter. As long as you're, if as long as I'm still trying to improve every single day in the aspect that I'm trying to, there is no way I fail when you're looking at it in a 30,000 hour perspective. There's just absolutely no way. That is too much time. That is too much consistency. There is feasibly no way if you spend 30,000 hours on something that you could fuck that up. There's no way. <laughs> maybe, maybe because I'm that slow. If that's the case, then just spend another 20,000 hours, spend 10 years. There's that because I would still only be 31 years old if I waited 10 years. That is just way too much compounding time to not reach some level of business success. It's feasibly impossible. It is almost the law of large numbers. The only thing that would make me think of is that if I try the exact same thing and fail over and over again and don't learn, aka being stupid. I don't think that's the case though. I will adapt if... I am wrong. No results will be shown. Therefore, I have to go back to the drawing board. Life is actually way easier when you're thinking of it on a long enough time horizon. As long as you continue to play the game, as long as I stay on the course, 
what would be different is if next year I say, oh, there's a better opportunity here and I scratch what I'm currently doing and I go all in on that. Then I go from having four years of experience to having none. And then let's say I, I spend four years on that and I get to the same level of success I am now. I'm like, oh, there's a better experience or a better opportunity. Whereas if instead of spending four and four, you just spend it eight, you would literally have not double the results, but probably 100,000 times the results. So this isn't more where do I expect myself to be in five years, but how the fuck could I not be where I want to be in five years if I just put in the time and let everything else compound? If I spend eight hours on average per day working for the next five years, how the fuck could you fail that? <laughs> That's fucking 20,000 hours. You'd mastered it twice. So I guess we'll see. I'd have to be a really dumb motherfucker. So I hopefully of 26, I'll be looking back and saying, dude, you're an idiot. That is not how the world works. You fucking goofball. But I'm not there yet. So I guess I can say whatever the hell I want.